a kid on Christmas morning, the first day we came back and was so excited just to be here and get jumping around. And the first couple of weeks were a lot of fun just because you were back and that's what you loved. And then you would kind of be a bit more tired and you would start doing a bit more training. Your body would hurt a little bit more. It was good to have a break from the sport that I guess was the longest I've ever had away from it since I was seven years old. Um, and I think when something's taken away from you that you love, you kind of get a new appreciation for it. So I feel like it was really good mentally to just kind of have a break from the sport and then I just felt so ready to get going again and as soon as I got back I just thought I know why I do this I do this because I love it it makes me happy it makes me smile and I've just really enjoyed that process of I guess building back up and just getting the opportunity to do something I love every day. Return to training has been a really good experience for me so far um, I had a lot of things that I wanted to change and do differently and it's been really exciting to um, challenge myself and change my approach both mentally and physically to training um, and I feel I'm really already seeing the benefits of that and all the work I've done off the trampoline um, feeling really strong and and I'm really excited to see how how that will transfer into into competition yeah, I kind of tried to keep as much of a routine straight away as possible so I got straight into a, a pattern of keeping my days the same so I still did Monday to Saturday of training and I still trying to do two sessions a day so I would do some exercise of some kind in the morning have a bit of a break and then do something else in the afternoon and kind of keep that pattern going and then I think I got about six or seven weeks in and then I took a, a whole week off of just okay right this is too much now I need a week of just doing nothing um, and then got back into the pattern really quickly and I think that helped because I didn't allow myself to feel really kind of down and depressed by it all and kind of tried to use the opportunity to think okay what are some weaknesses what are things I can work on here that I wouldn't have been able to do if we were training and um, identified some of that was still speaking obviously to my trampoline coaches and my strength condition coaches and um, trying to think some things that we could do that would make the time useful and worthwhile and um, really got into running and I found that was really good we tend to not do too much running when we're training because of just loading through lower limbs and back um, but I found that really good because it was an opportunity to get out of the house, I explored where we live a little bit more um, and just found that was a really good kind of headspace. I managed to keep myself fairly busy in lockdown and did some volunteering with the NHS responders and the food bank um, deliveries um, and it just gave me a really good perspective, um, it was just a bit of a dose of reality really. Uh, as a team we managed to um, put together quite a good uh, fundraising campaign for the NHS and that kept us pretty busy, we worked pretty hard with that. Uh, we managed to raise over £8,000 but I thought it was really, really good that um, so many clubs got involved and there were some great challenges um, that so many people got involved with. Um, so that was just, that was another way of keeping busy. And obviously um, I managed to you know, get a lot of training done and it was quite fun to be creative and try lots of new exercises. I took up running which was, like, I really enjoyed running. Um, and was able to look at areas that I wanted to address when I did come back onto the trampoline. I joined the Den Kelly Homes Trust uh, More Than Medals programme and um, I'm really looking forward to working with young people and it also is uh, an opportunity to work towards some qualifications in coaching and mentoring. So um, I've really missed working with young people, that's something that I'm, I'm really looking forward to doing. So we've got the rest of the year to just kind of build on, I guess, what we started in lockdown, get some real technical gains done. Because normally we're planning our training around, there's a competition here and then you've got six to eight weeks and then you've got another competition or you're always looking to the next competition. So it feels quite nice to not be talking about that in the, the kind of near future so that you can actually get some real nitty gritty technical training done, which we haven't had the opportunity to do that for such a long time. And then we know we've got European Championships that have been rescheduled till, I think it's the end of April next year. And we've got a World Cup in Italy, which is rescheduled which is our last Olympic qualifying World Cup, the week before Europeans. So they're kind of the two first things we would look at, which is April next year. So we've got a whole chunk of time to try and make some improvements and then there'd be the British Champs and then obviously hopefully the Games. Yeah, it's unusual to have um, such a long training block, but uh, I see it as such a big opportunity for us. Um, and I'm really making the most of everything and training every part of it and taking nothing for granted and making sure each day counts. Can't wait to be back on the competition floor. Uh, it's been such a long time uh, and I really miss competing, especially being around like everyone on the floor. It'd be really exciting to see what the other countries have been doing and how they've been making the most of their time. Um, and no doubt the competition will be really strong, but I'm really excited to see what 2021 brings for me.